Last time on Sailing Solianus, we left Pickwick Lake and turned onto the Tennessee Tom Bigby Waterway. This part of the route is jam-packed with locks. In a single 150-mile section, there are 10 of them. Montgomery Lock, Montgomery Lock, this is Pleasure Craft, Solianus. Yeah, I see you there, Kim. Practically row us through it. Well, like a minute ago, it was really peaceful. The bollards are talking. They're wailing. The further south we go, the fewer towns, marinas, and services we see. We've been anchoring out more and more and have had to figure out how to start our diesel engine, which doesn't have glow plugs, during some very cold mornings. We do have a preheat system, which consists of a tiny little diesel burner that heats up the air right at the engine intake. But sometimes this isn't even enough. After our very first night anchoring on the river, we got everything ready to go and our Westerbeek 40 wouldn't start. We quickly figured out this was due to the cold, and throughout the process of coaxing our engine back to life, we gave him the name Mr. Beak. After about 20 minutes of troubleshooting, Lauren came up with this ingenious idea to bring Mr. Beak back to life. Love, how are you doing? It's a little colder than yesterday, but. Really? Yeah. Is the engine not very hot? No, I think the engine's hot. We good? Yeah. All right. You let me know when you're gonna start it? Yeah. I'm gonna start preheating. Up. I noticed yesterday we can't follow these paths. This chart plotter doesn't update its reference points exactly. It only updates about that far apart. Uh -huh. So when you cut corners, it always makes the corners tighter because it just draws a straight line between the two points. On a broad scale, we could use it to go back to where we went, but we can't use it in and out of an anchorage. It's not usable to like oh, follow you dog that legs. You made? Uh huh. I know that. Sorry. 
I walked up to the bow. Who <laughs> Nutella? So Lauren made these lovely handrail covers, scrambled to finish them the week before we left, with the intention being we weren't going to be sailing and the boat wasn't going to be healing over, so we weren't going to need to use the handrails for the next two months. Well, it's a month and a half into it, and I'm just now getting the snaps put on so that we can actually use them. But I still think they're going to come in handy the further we get south. We really haven't seen that much sun either anyway, so I suppose we didn't miss out on a whole lot. You're 19 feet. Ooh, the sun's coming out. Okay, I'm gonna pull us backwards. That seems pretty good, eh? Stern's holding. I think we're good. <sighs> what you think? You know, it's funny because you think this whole business of hanging out and living on a boat is just like, cool and mellow and yeah you know you just go when you want to go and do what you want to do and I think I can count the minutes of how much we've actually spent doing this sitting and relaxing do it yeah yeah and like doing nothing it's definitely been less than a handful of days we've had the opportunity to do this so far yeah because it's been cold so that's kind of a problem but Even the summer. Yeah. There was an afternoon in Charlevoix at the marina mm -hmm. after we successfully completed our, or my goal. And it all the way up to Charlevoix, feeling pretty stoked. Where we hung out at Charlevoix Marina, but I was working, so it was like, yeah. not even. But it was fun to work in the cockpit. There was the hanging out in Chicago at the playpen. For a, like a half hour and you had your computer And I was working. working. But today's Saturday. 
Mm, yeah. So I don't need to work right now. Although I feel like I do. <laughs> yeah, I actually have stuff I could be doing, but. <sighs> this is nice. So you really think you saw an alligator, huh? Yeah, I think so. It was just like his nose and maybe his eye bumps, I don't know. I mean, he could have been a log or anything, but the reason I thought it was an alligator is he was kind of holding his position in the river against the current and there was a little V coming mm. off of him. And then after that, I was like, is that an alligator? Is that an alligator? So, cheers to that sunset. Mm. Cheers. This city has the same name, but it's different than the one I left. The sights and sounds have changed somehow, and I'm struggling to catch my breath. Maybe I'm growing older, maybe I haven't grown at all. But I measured myself on the train tracks, and I found I was two feet tall. The subway prophets who laid in their coffins, they begged me not to nag. So I covered all their faces up with an old face. Do you see that stick sticking out of the yeah, water? Yeah, there's one right here too. It looks like the depth isn't going to be too much of a problem. Still in 20 feet. Oh, isn't this a cozy little spot? It is a cozy little spot. Just glad it's not even cozier. Because <laughs> it's about as wide as our boat. <laughs> is long. Is long. Yeah. Plus another five feet, maybe. Uh, I would say another boat length, but. Oh, if we're but talking shore to shore. If we're um, talking navigable, navigable water, water. Yeah, it's probably our boat length. <laughs> Right? Moss? Anyone? Spanish moss. Spanish moss. Okay, what's your thought? So we're at 120.7. Turkey Creek. This is mile 57. It looks plenty deep enough. So that's not in the guidebook? The it's not in the guidebook, but it looks quite a bit wider than what we're on. Right now? Yeah. Or 64, this is the one that's in the guidebook. So we have to go another nine miles after this. So if it's getting late, we don't really have an option in between there, which is mm. an hour and a half. Okay. But so if we can get up super early, if we can get straight through the lock. As long as the fog yeah, is Yeah, and lifted. if it's not foggy, we might be able to make it. So 120 minus 57, what's that? 63. 63, we could do that. And then we only have 57 miles in a thunderstorm on Tuesday. Mm. Well, the storm isn't until four, right? But the yes. rain is supposed to come. Around. On the other side of that wall, salt water. Lord, it's the Gulf of Mexico! We're gonna be a sailboat soon. 